Hey everyone and welcome to something a bit different on the channel which is actually a requested review. Uh, a gentleman named Will Styles messaged me asking if I'd do a paid request to watch a short film that he and his friends made on um, Louis P TV. It's up there now, the link will be in the description for the film. And you know I've never done paid requests, you know in the future I may do a Patreon but I was looking to kind of get over 1,000 subscribers first before I, you know, I did. But it, it, it's nice that he was interested in hearing my thoughts on this and he wanted to give me that paid request. So you know what? There's a link in the description to my PayPal. If anyone wants to send me a message on there and, you know, send me a paid request, it's uh, £5 for, you know, a review. If you want to, you know, if you want to hear me talk about something and... Um, you want to um, support the channel. But anyways, let's talk about The Deranged, which is the title of the, the short film. Now, obviously, you can't expect incredible Hollywood level this and that. But I enjoyed this as a short film, you know, from a... I don't think they've made many short films or, or films in general, this team. I hope they make more after this. You know, I enjoyed this. I thought it had an intimate feel, a down-to-earth feel. They asked me to review it after seeing my Halloween Kills rant, where I was very unhappy with the direction of Halloween, where it's just become over the top and crazy and violent. This is, no, it's intimate, you know, it's um, in a small, enclosed space. Um, it reminds me of that Halloween feel, clearly what they're going for here. I really do feel like the, the true horror is the fear of what could happen in your own backyard. You know, if these things happen on such a local level, it's always those terrifying local stories of murder and this and that that you find out about where you thought everything was normal. And that's what they try and capitalise on in this film. One thing to say, starting things off, the music's really good in this. I thought it was kind of Stephen King-esque. And it reminded me of um, the intros to Stephen King's 90s films, which is a good thing. Very, very creepy and eerie music. There's a really, really creepy opening scene, which is actually the tensest scene in the film, I think where a character encounters the killer. Basically, this is a story of a um, group of people who basically encounter a killer. There's, you know, there's not a gigantic story to it. Um, that's basically it. And, you know, it's a short film. So what do you want? You don't want a thousand things going on. But I do think they actually do well with the characters in this, which I'll get to. But that opening scene is creepy. I've always found in horror, one of the most disturbing things is being helpless. In this opening scene, this woman is helpless and the killer is kind of approaching and looming around and drawing out and you know the, the scene is darkly lit the scene is um, intense the scene is unpredictable i guarantee they didn't have any budget for this but it looks pretty decent you know i've seen fan films which look terrible made by places that have budget you know i've seen other films that look terrible made by places that have a bit of budget this had the heart behind it and you could tell they just wanted to have a go at a horror film and sometimes that sincerity is what shines through and, and it, I think it actually does hit. I think the characters are pretty likeable in this. Um, there's a main couple who the girl talks to the guy about his resistance to having kids or his seeming resistance to having kids. I enjoyed this short um, back and forth. You could easily have made this woman come across as overbearing and pressuring or the guy come across as uninterested. But no, they really come across as a couple in love, and it's a genuine conversation. It's quite decently written. So you instantly like this couple, um, and that's what, you know, I was impressed about in this film. You like the characters. They seem really normal. They seem really down-to-earth, and again, it's that down-to-earth feeling. There's also a lady in this who struggles with mental health, and she's um, learning meditation skills. And uh, she was likeable. You know, and then they basically come together for a, a night, uh, around one of the people's houses uh, to just relax and basically the killer is approaching. It's really really hard to nail acting when you're not an actor, when you're not you know involved in that world you know it's really, really hard to come across as genuine and these characters came across as real and genuine. I think the guy playing the killer was decent, you don't see him much, basically this hooded killer. I could tell he was kind of going for a Michael Myers sort of vibe um, you know, he was walking, he wasn't running around like Ghostface. It's that looming feel that they were trying to go for here, and I feel like they do pull it off. There's not much gore, and that reminded me of Halloween as well. 
So, you know, it's kind of a coincidence that I've kind of hated Halloween Kills and then I've kind of watched this short film, which is really not about gore, really not about um, craziness, but it was actually quite creepy. And that's what it is. You know, I, I, I just love that kind of um, invasion of privacy of um, films like this, where the killer is kind of, you know, overturning what we know of normality in that town and things are about to change forever for these normal people. I, lo I love the normal nature of the characters in this film and the style of this film and the setting of this film. Granted, you know, it's not amazing. I have to say it's not amazing because, of course, I don't think they're even trying to, for it to be amazing. It's really, really um, down to earth and... It's too short, you know, I wanted to see where this went, and that's definitely a good thing, I guess. Uh, I know this, um, these guys, uh, hopefully they're going to make more. I would like to see them try and develop on this. It's impressive for uh, people who don't make movies professionally, and I really feel like the look of the film, it looked more professional than some fan films I've seen, and some other, because I watch a lot of fan films, I watch a lot of films made on YouTube, it looked a bit more professional, it looked quite competently shot, so, you know, I was impressed. I feel like there's more to this, I feel like the director could, could really make a creepy full-length horror film, and I hope he does. One thing I will say is that I'm impressed these guys didn't just go the Halloween fan film route. There are so many Halloween fan films on YouTube, too many. Halloween fan films up the arse, and some are good, some are god-awful. And, you know, obviously it's just about a killer this, killer this film. So if you'd have just had it be Michael again, it would have made it generic for me. Even though there's nothing kind of, you know, especially crazily memorable about this killer, I like how they actually went the route of making their own thing and not the umpteenth Halloween fan film. I recommend this, guys. It will be in the description box. It's free. It's out there for free. You might as well. If you've got 25 minutes, what else are you going to do? It's better than some of the rubbish that you can find elsewhere on YouTube. If you'd like to request uh, something of myself, again, uh, it, the link will be in the description below. Uh, be £5 for a request. It humbles me that people would like to hear what I say about stuff. I was really humbled that this guy wanted to hear what I thought about his, his film. So if you want to request a review of mine, it doesn't have to be for your own stuff. It can be for any movie. Send me a message on there and tell me what you'd like me to review. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Go check out this short film and I will see you guys next time.